Friday, everybody. Um, very early in the morning, so I hope y'all can hear me all right. But uh, thanks for watching another one of my videos. This is Lance here. In case this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, I am a team leader uh, and longtime Abacus member. Uh, and the Abacus is a system designed to teach uh, black people how to build generational wealth in the market. So it takes you from beginner level um, of the markets uh, as far as your understanding and applications to um, advanced level knowledge. So uh, good stuff. Um, I'm also co-founder of BH Capital Enterprises where I do some uh, uh, specialized teaching when it comes to the markets. Uh, uh, specifically focused on technical analysis and uh, reading charts and also uh, the cannabis industry but I wanted to talk about subconscious programming and this message is specifically for parents of young children you want to be very, very, very mindful of the messages that you send to your children. It's said that by the time a child is seven, their subconscious is is pretty programmed. And that those messages tend to shape their lives for the rest of their lives. Unless, of course, they do the work to kind of undo, <coughs> excuse me, kind of undo the messages that they received at such an early age. And we already know that young children soak up things like a sponge. They learn things a lot quick, a lot uh, more quickly than than uh, other ages of people. Um, they're very intelligent, very intuitive. Um, so you got to be careful about not only the verbal and explicit things that you say uh, or messages that you send, but also the nonverbal stuff. So, you know, your children are always watching and you want to be careful about what they see. You know, of course, you can't shield them completely from from all things that you consider to be potentially harmful. But when it comes to your household, uh, I believe there's a certain level of, of work that you can do to ensure that you send the right messages. Um, or else they become adults with certain beliefs that may not be true. Uh, such as, you know, I don't deserve an abundant life, you know. The way that I grew up, you know, that's just the way it is. And there's nothing that I can really do about it because that's, you know, that's just my fate. Um, and that's harmful, you know, I think, in my opinion. Um, or they become adults that can't figure out why they can't seem to get ahead. And they never think to investigate maybe those subconscious blocks. Uh, their own beliefs and hang-ups about money and wealth and uh, many other things. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to talk for super long about this, but just want to tell, you know, parents to be so very careful. You know, you want, I'm sure, you know, as parents, you guys want the best for your children, but you got to be careful about what you say and also what you don't say and what you expose uh, your children to. Um, at this point in my life, I'm not a parent yet, you know, uh, but these are things that I definitely think about uh, because I was once a child and uh, I remember how I grew up. So um, I definitely, um, grew up with a certain belief system that was constantly in conflict with what I thought to be possible for my life, you know? So I want, I always, for as long as I can remember, always, always, always wanted 
an abundant life, um, just an abundance of resources at my disposal. You know, I wanted to be free. I wanted, you know, uh, or, you know, a certain level of freedom um, on this side of life. I wanted to experience that and I wanted to live that and I wanted to never have to worry about things like money and, you know, and so as I became older, I realized, you know, that, that I had certain hangups about money and even still I'm having to undo many, many, many years of subconscious programming to try to break free of those blocks that I've had about money and wealth and abundance and, and, and what I deserve and, you know, many other things. So it's, it's, uh, it's been quite a journey. Um, I've, I've been learning a lot of things about myself and, uh, for a while I thought that I could, you know, kind of positive affirmations my way out of it. Um, but then I realized the next level up in terms of consciousness was, okay, you have to do the work, you know, and they, they like to call it shadow work, you know, so you have to do the work of sitting with yourself, sitting with those thoughts that you don't particularly like and getting to the root of why those thoughts are there, you know? Um, and so that's, that's pretty much where, where I'm at in my life right now is, is, is constantly trying to investigate why I have certain thoughts, you know, that just pop up out of nowhere, you know? Um, but I believe that, you know, once, I don't think this work will ever be finished, uh, but as I get, go further and further along in my, in my work, um, I'll continue to manifest the life that I've always wanted, you know, and like I said, I dreamed of a, an abundant life, daydreamed of an abundant life, you know, for as early, uh, since as early as I can remember, um, and now it's just, just out of, it seems like it's just out of my reach, you know, I'm well on my way, uh, I'm, I'm proud of myself, you know, for, for having the courage to, uh, not ignore those subconscious thoughts that we like to ignore um, and try to just recite, you know, positive affirmations all the time. Um, it takes a lot of courage to admit that you have certain hangups and certain thoughts and, you know, um, but there's a way to, you know, work through it. So that that's the great news. But uh, it's tough, you know, and Sometimes I look back and wonder what life would be like had I had a different type of subconscious programming as a child, you know? Um, but parents, we do, you know, parents do the best that they can with what they know and the tools that they have. Um, but my message is for you know, you parents to be careful, be conscious of of those messages uh, because your child is always going to be around to soak that up. The energy, the thoughts, the, the, the vibrations, uh, the words, the actions, they're watching it all. So, you know, just be careful. Uh -huh. <clears throat> uh, and, you know, that's that's all I got, you know, for now. Um if you guys have any questions, of course, I'm always open to chatting about many different things. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your Friday uh, and enjoy your weekend. And uh, as always, remember, the dream never sleeps.